Hi everyone, today we are going to see how strings are incepted by a finite automata. In finite automata, there are two different types of finite automata which accept strings. Those are deterministic finite automata and non-deterministic finite automata. First of all, we'll see what a string is. So a string is any sequence of inputs or characters. So a string is set to be accepted by a finite automata when it reaches its final state starting from its initial state. So if it takes any path and reaches final state, we'll say that the string is accepted. We can do this using the transition function. We'll say on initial state if uh, we'll give the input as the string and if the output is final state then we say the string has been accepted so let's see how the string is accepted by dfa and nfa now a string is considered to be accepted by dfa when on the initial state will set the input as the string to be processed and if we reach the final state then the string is accepted so let's see this by an example so we have a transition diagram Let's say this is the transition diagram of the DFA and we have to see whether this string is accepted by the deterministic finite automata or not. So we can use the transition diagram as in first we'll start with the initial state then we have to see the 1. If the input is 1 then we'll go to Q1 then the next input is 0 on 0 we'll go to Q0 then is 1 we we'll reach again Q1, then 0, we we'll go to Q0, then 1, we reach Q1, and then 0, we reach Q0. Since we did not reach final state, hence the string is not accepted. Now the next example is 110, 110. And this, if we'll say, first on input stage we'll give 1, we'll go to Q1, then we'll give 1 again, we'll go to Q2. And now you see that there is no input out of it there are only self loops so we'll give any combination of 0 and 1 will remain on q2 and since q2 is final state the string is accepted so in only deterministic finite automata we know that there are more than one transition for same input symbol and for string acceptance we have to reach from initial state to final state using the string to be processed as inputs now if we can reach the final state in any of the transition then we'll say that string is accepted by that NFA. So we'll take an example. example and the string to be processed is 101010 so first we'll do is on q0 we'll give 1 since it is the first input and that will take us on q0 we'll give 1 that will take us both to q0 and q1 So set of Q0 and Q1. Next we'll go to 0. Now on the set of Q0, Q1 will give 0. Now on Q0, 0 will take us to Q0 and Q1, 0 will take us to Q0. So we'll go to Q0. Now again on Q0 we have 
1 which is same so we'll get q1 q0 now again 0 so we'll keep on switching between these two conditions and since q2 is it will end on 0 so this will be the last part last answer will be q0 and since the to be accepted the answer must be contain q2 since it does not so the string is not accepted let's see another example this time the string to be accepted is 110110 so similarly on initial state q0 will give the first which is 1 it will take us to both q0 and q1 now on both q0 and q1 will take the second one which is again 1 so on q0 1 will take us to q0 and also q1 and q1 1 will take us to q2 so it contains all three states now we'll go to 0 so q0 q1 q2 on 0 it will take us to q0 will take us to q0 q1 will take us to q0 and q2 will take us to q2 so the answer would be q0 q2 now we go to 1 now on q0 q2 if we give 1 then the answer is on q0 1 will take us to q0 q1 and on q2 it will take us to q2 so q0 q1 q2 now we go to the next one and q0 q1 q2 on 1 they will take us to q0 q1 and q2 now again on q0 q1 q2 now we will give the final which is 0 q0 0 will take us to q0 q1 0 will take us to q0 q2 0 will take us to q2 so answer would be q0 q2 now in the final answer there is q2 so if the final answer contains final state then whole string is accepted since the final answer contains q2 which is final state we'll say this string is accepted thank you